What is up guys and welcome back to another new world video. So today we are checking out a very good gold farm for a new world. This is probably the easiest, laziest and also most efficient gold farm that I've seen so far in new world myself. It is even better than farming iron veins and also silver veins. And it's pretty much better than all of the gold farms that I've encountered so far. Granted I'm not level 60 yet or level 50 either. I am incredibly low level. And on this character I'm level 9 as I'm still sitting in queue on my main character. So I'm just going to show you one of my favorite lower level gold farms that is also incredibly efficient. And makes me several thousand gold per hour or gold coins. And it's really easy. So the farm itself pretty much has no requirements. No level requirements, no gathering professions, pretty much nothing. All you have to do is get to this location right here in the Everfall region. So right north of the Everfall settlement. Follow the main road in Everfall and just get your way all the way up here in the yard as I call it. And the farm itself is based on gathering flint. Flints are used in crafting a lot of different things. For example, used in crafting arrows and also bullets, I think. And also weapons. So you, pretty much when you start out, you will start out with a sword and a shield. So if you want to use any other weapons than that, you have to do quests. Or you can craft yourself a weapon straight off the bat. So it's used in crafting weapons and also crafting arrows very early. And a lot of people do want these flints. They're not really worth too much though, about, about one coin each, but you're getting so many of them. So far I've been farming here for 10 minutes, and I've gotten 587 flint, which is pretty much one flint every single second. And you can see they are spawning super fast, so they're spawning in chunks. Right now we have 5 over here, we have 2 over here, and I just, I just grabbed those up, like I just picked these up. And they are already respawning. So all you have to do is stand in this one location, grab all of the flints, wait for the respawn, grab all the flints again, and do that on repeat. You pretty much don't have to wait ever, because they will always be spawning pretty much 24-7. So as I gather the last one right here right now, just go back up here, and they should start to respawn very soon. So the farm itself, once again, located in the Everfall region, and all you do is gather flint. That being said, there are a couple of other things, like the baits that you can get as well from the flint. So glowworm bait is derived from flint during the night time, and nightcrawler bait is derived from flint during the day. Based on that, you know that if a nightcrawler bait is worth more than glowworm bait on your server, then you might want to farm this during daytime to get a nightcrawler bait with your flint but your main gold per hour should be coming from flint and these are just extra but you will get a lot of baits as well like for example right now i have 598 flint and i also have 144 i think or 154 baits in total so you'll be getting a lot of bait as well so yeah, this farm is using a hyper spawn mechanic, meaning that these flints will pretty much spawn on repeat all the time. So all you have to do for this location is get yourself to this location and farm flint. Requires no professions, no real level requirements either. Because while this is a level 17 area right here, or a level 18 area, there are some aggressive mobs over here, but as long as you stay on this side of the fence, that shouldn't really be a problem. Like right now as well, that guy aggroed him, level 26 character. He won't aggro you unless you run past this fence, and that will aggro him. So this guy just looted some flints, and they are already respawning once again. So these flints respawn super fast. So all you have to do, stand still, run back and forth, gather flints, and that is it for the farm. So based on that, I've been farming here for 10 minutes now. And I'm going to go to the trading post and check out the value from these 10 minutes of farming. So we get a rough calculation of how much gold you're getting per hour from the farm. Okay, so we're at the trading post right now and we're about to see exactly how much gold we are making. And as you can see right here, you can use flints to make flint arrow to sell those as well. But let's just check out flint itself as the resource itself. So flints are selling for one each right now, so that is about, let's see how many I got, it's about 600, right? So 
let's just cut it down to 600 as I went a couple of seconds above 10 minutes for the farming sessions. You're getting almost one flint every single second as long as you have the highest respawn on the flint itself. So that is absolutely ridiculous. That is one gold per second just from flint. And let's also check out the bait. So 600 gold from flint from 10 minutes. That is already 3.6k gold per hour only in flint. Let's also go over to glow worm bait and check that one out as well. So glow worm bait and that is a consumable so click on that one. That one is selling for 10 so we can already add even more than that as well. So 10 plus times 77 that is 770 plus 600 and let's also go to night crawler bait. So night crawler night crawler bait. Nightcrawler baits are selling for roughly 10 as well. Let's just let's just bump it up to 10 to make my math just easier. So that means that in 10 minutes we got 700 gold worth of both bait, a bit over 700 gold on the glowworm bait, and a less on a little bit under 700 gold for the nightcrawlers. So let's add that together and estimate it to 700 gold. So a little bit under 10 gold each. So that is 700 plus 700. 1400 plus 600 that is 2000 gold in those 10 minutes multiply that by 6 or let's just say that i spent 12 minutes instead of 10 minutes multiply 2k by 5 that gives you 10000 gold every single hour just by farming flints that is absolutely ridiculous so from those 10000 gold Roughly, let's see, 600, so 30% is coming from flint, and the remaining 70% is coming from these baits. Based on my short experiment right here, it seems like baits are being capped out at 77 per bait. So once you have 77, you need to go and put them on the auction house or put them in a storage shed. But that just might be my luck, but I pretty much picked up 50 flints without getting a single bait, while before that I was picking up and I was getting baits almost every third flint, so picking up 50 flints in a row without a single bait seems like very very bad RNG, so let me know in the comments down below if you're able to get flints or baits, uh, I mean baits, if you can get above 77 baits in one go, let me know in the comments down below, or also let me know if it caps at 77 for you as well, so we have that information so we know about it. Other than that though, for those of you who are still watching this video, I want to give one more advice and that is for example for Flint. If you just search up Flint once again, so go to Flint, go to resources, click on the auctions right here, click on all settlements. And then you will see that Everfall is currently the cheapest, cheapest uh, settlement for Flint. We are on 1.0, while the next one is Monarch's Bluff at 1.29. So if you want to get 29% more gold from selling flint, you can just teleport to Monarch's Bluff, or also First Light. So if you just go to pretty much anywhere except Foreverfall, you can make even more gold from the, from the flints as well. So if you want to take it one step further, find the most expensive settlement and go over there and post it on that settlement's trading post. If you just skip past the 1.3s as well, so 1.0, 1.24, 24, 25, 26, 27, 29 and then 1.30, it quickly bumps up to 1.50. If you can sell it for 1.50, that is another 50% on top of your regular flint cash gains. So you will make even more gold just by using this one small trick whenever you post your auctions. So keep that in mind and that is pretty much it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, if you did leave a like down below, leave a comment as well, subscribe for more World of Warcraft and also new world content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon.